guys, we are getting ready to go out for a second walk of the day. I just checked and I, fun fact, I already have 10,000 steps, so this ought to be interesting. Sunday morning, February 28th. I don't know what time it is. 9.05 a.m. It's about an hour later than we intended to get our day going this morning, but we both slept in. So, yeah. Anyway, we're headed north a bit to check on my parents today. That is the primary goal of today, so... We are getting ready and gathering stuff that we need to bring to them. And we won't be staying um, long. We'll be sort of turning and burning this morning. Um, but we want to go check on them and bring them a few things we think they need. And yeah, all the things, the things, because of the things, you know. stopped in a rest area on the way to my parents and this is the view it's real pretty anyway yeah uh, stretching my leg a little bit my knees kind of bothering me which is funny because doing all the walking I've been doing it doesn't bother my knee but sitting in the car for an hour and a half bothers my knee uh, I don't know. makes no sense I'll be back. I mean even if it's a little peopley how do you not like that view right Okay, so we finally made it home and we're headed out for, for a walk because we both really, really want to get some steps in after sitting in the car for a lot of hours today. A friend of mine texted me back how things went today and she said, she's a very analytical person. She said, so tell me the positives and the negatives. Do you feel better now that you've gone? Um, <laughs> no idea. I think I have more questions than I had before I went. <laughs> say good morning only it's after lunch <laughs> hello everybody happy monday it is monday march 1st uh i don't know what time it is i just know it's after lunch i am headed over to the mailbox i've got a mail a birthday card to my mother-in-law and check the mailbox bring the garbage can in <sighs> and all the things for the things because of the things so <sighs> You guys, I got a box of stuff from my mom and the things that you f just forget about. Do you just... So this is a jigsaw puzzle <laughs> that I evidently made for my dad. God knows when, probably some in, time in the 90s. Um, I remember buying these um, jigsaw puzzles. They were blank and then you would, could collage or paint or something on top of them. I don't know if any companies are doing these anymore. Would be kind of a fun art project, right? Okay, you think that's weird. Hold on. I found a Christmas stationery with uh, my daughter's artwork on it. I kind of vaguely remember printing. I don't, yeah. So anyway, it has her name on the, at the bottom. I don't remember printing that for my mother. Um, I do, it does seem that I did some of that um, when I had my daycare business. Um, but again, I don't remember printing it for my mom. Um, there's envelopes in here too. I also found this. That is my high school graduation picture. Yeah. Welcome to the 1980s. 
Good morning, people. I was looking at my Facebook memories this morning before I left the house, and a picture of me showed up from a year ago. And I know a lot of you all have been saying, wow, you look so thin, you've lost so much weight. And I like just wasn't seeing it until that picture popped up this morning. <laughs> Holy cow, what is, was I uh, a bit puffy? All I've really been doing as far as my diet is concerned, of course, I cleaned it up a bit, but just walking. That's all, walking. I thought for sure yesterday I was going to close the day with like maybe 3,000 steps if I was lucky because it was just kind of a bad, busy, weird day. But we ended up going for a walk, quick walk after dinner. I got just below 10,000, so yay. Hey guys, how are you? It is Wednesday, March 3rd, 2.54 p.m. I know, PM, right? Um, uh, I don't have a good excuse for not vlogging until now. <laughs> I came upstairs um, pretty early this morning to clean up my desk because you couldn't see the tabletop. Although my friend said, that's not messy. Um, it was making me crazy. I rearranged things a little bit again um, here. So, and relabeled things. I also moved things uh, around in the closet I over here. I'd done some purging and, um, by the way, I still have some purge boxes um, and artworks um, bo uh, envelopes in the Etsy store. Uh, links down below. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I have been purging and there was an empty space I wasn't sure what to do with in this closet. And I just spread things out a little bit so things are easier to get to. I don't need to acquire more stuff. I just need to make what I do have easier to get to and only keep what I'm going to use. So anyway.
Bringing you with me to take out the trash because let's have a little chat, shall we? Anyway, it definitely is a roller coaster. Um, if you're feeling just done with it and rage and anger and stress and frustration, you're not alone. I definitely feel all that and today's journal page definitely reflects what I would like to be but am not always. Listen, I have white coat syndrome on a good year, a regular normal year. When I know or at least think I know there's nothing wrong with me, I still get stressed out having to go to the doctor. You put COVID in there and you gotta, gotta be kidding. Everything's out the window. Whether it's the eye doctor or the dentist or it doesn't matter. Going out to the grocery store, I didn't like doing that before. Now we have COVID, are you kidding? But we can't avoid everything and we've gotta take care of ourselves and try to not get too stressed out and all of the things for the things because of the things, right? I want you to find a way, whether it's a creative escape in your artwork and your journaling, or it is music or reading or walking or turning all of the devices off. Oh my God, just turning all of them off and stop watching. I haven't watched anything more than the weather in a while. I can't, I just can't. I like Dr. Campbell's channel here on YouTube. He gives you good coronavirus updates. The facts, just the facts. I can't even handle that anymore. Haven't been able to in months. Um, I know the vaccine is coming. I know hopefully soon we'll be out of all of this, but we aren't yet. In the meantime, we still need to be cautious. And the fact that some aren't is not helping my stress. <laughs> and if you're, if you're following along with any or all of that, you are so not alone. And I want you to know that. And I want you to join me in doing what we can to get through it together and let's have a conversation and let's share some tips and ideas. Um, I've got a couple of different Facebook groups and I have a, a, you know, couple, a few different chats over also on Facebook. So, you know, let's have a conversation and let's do what we can and yeah, holy cow. <laughs> And watch some YouTube video, good ones, creative ones. There's some good ones out there. I was watching Aunt Beck's creations this morning. She was doing some good work um, while I was doing my own artwork. So yeah, that was fun. So do that, maybe. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go sit and watch some YouTube. I'm gonna take my own advice. I'll be back. Good morning. It is Thursday morning just before 10 a.m. and I'm getting ready to go live which might be a total bust, I have no idea. We will see, I need to do some jelly printing and I'm going to, I will go live if nobody if nobody shows up, it might be a short live. Um, anyway, um, Thursday's not my usual day and I think there's a lot of other creative YouTubers that go, try to go live on Thursday morning, so we'll see. I'm going to start listing some original artwork 
previously unlisted for sale in my Etsy shop, including some um, um, paper jelly print slash artwork pieces like these guys. Um, there's a, quite a few of them. Um, they These three are on um, just plain drawing paper, so they will be fairly inexpensive because the substrate's not that, you know, great. Um, the others that I'm going to do today are on Bristol vellum, nice, hard, harder piece of paper, um, nicer quality piece of paper. And so um, I'm going to be selling some of those. They'll be original pieces um, created on the jelly plate using my art foamies I created for art foamies. Um, which you can get over there on their website. I'll link link them below. Um, there's quite a few of them. And um, I will be using some of my rubber stamps for my Etsy shop. So, we'll, and we'll just see what happens. And uh, anyway, so I'm gonna be listing some of that in the shop. And um, I may start putting the stamps and stencils I do have in the shop. Um, on sale and putting them in bundles. Um, this rubber stamps won't be being discontinued, but um, you can get them um, uh, without me stocking them. And um, they get, they're not any more expensive to you. They just take a little bit longer to get because they're manufactured for you and then shipped to you from fat manufacturing. Um, and so, yeah, I might start doing that because I just have too much inventory and need to raise funds, so. Okay, the live is over. I got a bunch of prints made. Um, these are the ones that aren't finished yet. I've got some doodling and stamping to do on them like I've done on this one. And this one. And this one. So um, the stamps and um, Rubber stamps and our foamy stamps I've used on these are from my design line. Uh, the rubber stamps are in my Etsy shop and the foam stamps are in our, the Art Foamies website. So anyway, I am going to finish those this afternoon, but first I'm going to break and go get some lunch because I'm hungry. All right, I'll be back. So we are headed out for our annual evening walk. Crazy Pants, aka Lily the dog. We are puppy sitting this weekend again. She, of course, is pulling Grandpa up ahead. I'm staying well behind because if you've been following me for a while, you know, last October, uh, yeah, she knocked me over. <laughs> I face planted into the concrete. So yeah, there's that. Let's not have that happen today. All right, I'll be back.
bullfrogs are back. Spring must be around the corner. Good morning, everybody. I don't know what time it is. I don't think it's 10 a.m. yet. It is Friday, March 5th. And my eye doctor's appointment is tonight, so this afternoon. So cross your fingers. It's nothing serious. Um, anyway, I had an Etsy order I had to get out in the mail, so, and it's raining, so, hence the umbrella. <laughs> it's not cold though, not too bad. Anyway, the order is out, and I think we want to try to take crazy pants for a WALK, but hello, it's raining, so I don't know. We might do it anyway. It's not like I'm the Wicked Witch, I'm not gonna melt. Am I gonna be able to get art done today? I have no idea. Not only am I nervous about my visit, but later on I'm gonna be dilated. So my, they're dilating my eyes, so I got no clue. <laughs> all right, that's all I know right now, which is nothing. <laughs> I'll be back. Good morning, happy peoples, as they say over on Summers in Alaska. Um, so you saw a little clip yesterday uh, and still photo of me at the eye doctor's office. So uh, for those that don't know, that late September, early October, and I don't remember exactly when, but I know I posted a picture on Facebook October 2nd, but I think that was a couple days after it happened. Um, Lily, our favorite grand dog, who's just outside my office doorway, uh, only grand dog, <laughs> um, accidentally tripped me and I fell and my hands were full because hello YouTuber who takes pictures all the time and um, we were out on an evening stroll around the neighborhood and I face planted into the concrete, hit this side of my face. I noticed a short time after that, and I don't remember exactly when, but I know I've been driving my family crazy since around Thanksgiving-ish, um, that I had a floater or something in my eyes, and just sort of floats around in the uh, liquid inside your eye, the vitreous liquid inside your eye, and kind of occasionally floats in front of your field of vision, and you have this sort of dark thing that just sort of floats around. Um, <laughs> so that was different. <laughs> Um, but I also know there's really not much they can do about it, except double check and make sure that it's not something else more serious going on. But despite the fact that I knew that, I didn't go into the eye doctor right away. I know. And the catch on that is I used to be a licensed dispensing optician in the state of California a couple of decades ago, so I actually know better. I know. You're all shaking your head at me and doing this. <laughs> I know. So anyway, I did finally go in. I found a really sweet docker, doctor. Her name is Amy Tong, and she's with um, Eye Health Northwest. And um, I went to the Wilsonville office. So if you guys um, need services like that, I do recommend them. They are very sweet. The office staff was sweet. The doctors were sweet. Very nice. Um, and they're taking all the proper COVID precautions. So it was really great. Um, Anyway, I do have a floater, confirmed. Um, I also have the uh, very mild beginning stages of cataracts. Those can take years to develop, um, it, but it's not completely unexpected given the fact that I'm in my late 50s um, and they can be corrected with surgery. So I'm not super concerned about that. Um, that it is what it is and um, I will discuss um, with doctors if there's anything diet wise or like eye drops or anything I could do to sort of prolong the progression of the cataracts. Um, I also am under glaucoma watch because my mother is diabetic with glaucoma and that can be hereditary. And so they're gonna be watching me for that. That being said, the pressure in my eye is just fine, but they're gonna do a little bit further testing in four weeks. So I have to go back um, just so they have a baseline because it's a new office for me. I also was born with some interesting optic nerves. I knew that already. I knew she'd find those. Yeah, 
interesting and want to do other tests because, and they've been that way my whole life. So that kind of didn't surprise me. Anyway, I was kind of freaking myself out about the whole thing. I'm much more calm about it today. Can you tell? <laughs> um, and I'm good. And I told Bob last night, I said, you know, if I go, you know, partially or completely blind, I'm still going to paint and do art. So it might be very abstract because I won't be able to see what I'm doing, but I'm not stopping. <laughs> I'm determined. Anyway, we have a lot of people coming over today, including our contractors coming over to talk to us about some jobs that we want them to do and working out timelines and bids on the two of the three that we don't have bids on yet. And we are still puppy sitting until tomorrow night. And I think the pest control people are coming by to spray today and we've got to figure out when to go grocery shopping and it's going to be a busy day. I also have a pile of new and old optical health records I need to make some sense out of because some of these are from when I was still working in the optical field and the date on them is 1986. Yeah. And that's my handwriting and that's Bob's name and it's, see what it says, Gina's boyfriend. Yeah, we weren't married yet. <laughs> so, anyway, I need to make some sense out of all that and um, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, all right. Go to your eye doctor, people. It had been a few years since I went and I, you know, don't do that. Get your regular eye, che eye health checked. A lot of things can be pre prevented or delayed um, and corrected quickly, um, you know, so get your eye health checked. It's important. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. But do you hear those bullfrogs? Every spring, it's a bullfrog invasion around here. Anyway, we're headed back to the house. I will let you know how many steps I have in when we get there. I might need a cup of tea. All right, I'll be back. Okay, we're back from our walk. I have over 13,000 steps today. 13,700 13, and change. I got 12 cat, I got 12 cat. Pretty good. Look, 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 what is it, what is it? I don't know, it's not the deer again because they were already here while we were gone and they ate all the bulls clean. Anyway, so it has been an interesting week, making some more tea, <sighs> but I'm glad it's over. Yeah, anyway, new glasses on order cataracts on watch going in for some more tests on a couple of things on my eyes in a four weeks uh, to just gather some baselines on some things and otherwise we're good to go i hope you've had a good week uh, not too stressful and that you're making it through however you can um, one way or the other if you're in one of my facebook groups or connected with me through Facebook chat or something uh, and you need some help with anything creative or otherwise let's start a conversation don't be afraid to post if you need help working through issues creatively and a healthy way. That's what the groups are for. Um, please support the free content if you can here on YouTube and over in the Facebook groups um, by um, following on social media, shopping in my Etsy shop, Patreon, shop. just yeah, just watching the commercials through and not fast skipping through the commercials on my videos on my YouTube channel. That helps. I'd appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support other content creators too who you love. Um, you know, we're a small-ish closed community and they would, I'm sure, love your support as much as I would. Um, so think about supporting your other favorite content creators. That's it for this week. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask and don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm gonna make my tea and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.